Hey, YouTube. <clears throat> Anybody here? YouTube, are y'all here? <clears throat> well, I wasn't going to record today. And then as I was laying across my bed just moments ago, I stumbled into a subject for today. Hey, RJ Supreme. Allegedly, dog liquor. Hi, y'all. I laid across my bed. I said, hi, Prima Wanda. Uh, still shady. You still shady? <laughs> still shady after all these years. Oh, I'm still shady. Ah, People, I was laying across my bed. Wouldn't bother nobody. Hi, Destiny Rain. And uh, Sean Bradley uh, appeared, right? Now, he was going on there to, to cut somebody out named Mimi. Apparently, this lady named Mimi had posted somewhere that Sean Bradley had had uh, tried to employ or employed the girl, Billie Jean, to edit video for, for, for the show, 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 right? And he was saying that she was incorrect. We did not contact her to edit shit because we are using these people who are on their team, apparently, to edit videos. But something slipped out that I thought was very interesting. If you guys remember, a few months ago, I suggested that the what, what they were presenting as the show, show, show in the undisclosed location and in Atlanta, Georgia and in uh, Orlando, Florida, were not actually shows. These were more like a reminiscent of, of reunions, right? This was the coming together of several people. And I said then that something was missing because how can you have a reunion show without a show? You have to have something that sort of people will identify who these people are that we're watching. Why are we concerned about them? Who the hell are they, right? So it made no sense to have a reunion without a show. So what I suggested before, I said, well, what they need is someone like, like Billie Jean. Because at the time, Billie Jean was putting on these, her show was, her YouTube channel was, mixing these various beefs of these people from their videos that they made, right? The going the back and forth, she, she would merge them or mix them or whatever and edit them together kind of thing. And I said, well, that would make sense. If you if you first presented the beefs, the various beefs, if you mixed them, right? And if you edited them together to show people what the beefs were, who was beefing with who, you know, show some of the, the foul language, some of the bad things that had been done and so forth. Then when you got to the reunion, you would know what the storylines were, right? But the storylines had to be based on the show, the initial show, right? So what I heard tonight was Sean Bradley, maybe he didn't contact Mimi, I, I mean, uh, Billie Jean for uh, editing, but he most certainly did contact her for video clips. Now you ask yourself, why would I need, okay, I think stop uh, TV is Billie Jean. Uh, we are in agreement there. I don't know how much she wants us to talk about that, but uh, RJ Supreme, yeah, uh, we right there, right? Anyway, so at some point, people like the Fine Monster, they made a big stink. Oh, you used my clip without my Girl, you should be glad somebody wants to post that bullshit. They, somehow or other, they affected her channel and they know she don't make those videos anymore. Because when I first was exposed to the very first one, I said, well, this is a show. These are actually, even though it, it went on for, I don't know, 20 minutes or something like that. These are actually shows, though. We're actually able to hear the people as opposed to putting them together and howling, howling and screaming and making all this goddamn noise, right? Now, we wouldn't mind the howling and screaming and making all this noise if it was the reunion because we would see the coming together of the people off of YouTube onto uh, a, a platform where they're all together. It would all make sense that way, right? What he exposed tonight was they did contact her for those for those video clips. 
Now you ask yourself, why would they need video clips? They're making a live production, right? But it's just like I said, they're recording reunions. So it just feels good. It's so good, yeah. Loving somebody when somebody loves you back. And what they got to do with anything? Oh, I just like the song. See, it not 70, 40. Not 70, 30. Not 50, 60, 40. I'm talking about a 50, 50 love. Yeah. That ain't got nothing to do with the story. But y'all see what I mean? So video, uh, uh, Billie Jean, uh, she has the answers, right? Or how much of these clips do they want? Now they have, they don't have to use exclusively what she has, but since she was in the business of collecting these various beefs and she had the classics there before certain people start bitching and complaining about her using the little clips or whatever, she should have just come up with some form because many people would sign the form and say, go ahead and use them. You know, it all adds to my, to, to my channel. Am right. Anyway. They had contacted her for the clips. Now, many of these clips are are, are 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 here on YouTube anyway, right? But it's just that she had the, the, to compile all of those priceless ones, and they can just pull up the names, and it would come up automatically. Instead of these students or whoever their production team is trying to have to figure out what the hell is going on and going back in time and back two years ago and back where these beefs started and all that kind of stuff, she was already doing that. Right. So apparently they were going to purchase these clips from her, which would put the show, show, show in a because uh, he don't want to. They don't want to say Sean Bradley don't want to say what the show's about. I'm not sure if he's clear what it is. Him saying that they were uh, contacting Billy Jean, though, does tell me that perhaps he does know exactly what's going on. But they don't want to say well, what it was. Right. So people who have been 86 from the show, show, show who have been told that your content is trash, we ain't using that bullshit. I suspect. Uh, don't consider it, it a done deal because if they're going to use the, the old clips, they may very well need to have your permission to include you in the show, 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 right? This would also explain how they're able to keep, uh, all these people are interchangeable. They can have a whole different crew from one city to another city, correct? Wait a minute. Amazon accounts payable. Oh, the piece of change came in. Uh, but the point is, I guess this thing, I guess this thing from the very first time I saw Billy Jean's, uh, I don't know what she was calling her channel at that time. The, the person called Billy Jean, she's not my love, she's just a girl. Thinks that I am the one slow dancing on the floor in the round, baby. We just having some fun. But the kid, he not my son. Why did we allow Michael Jackson to get away with denying his child? Mm -hmm. Y'all see what I'm saying, though? I said, I'm telling you, I'm not making it up. I, may, I said the exact same thing. The first time I saw her trip, I mean, I saw her videos. So now... uh. Some people are, are saying that this new person who was doing a similar type of thing with a different format could possibly be Billie Jean again with the, uh, what is it called? Stop Lying TV. I don't know. I don't know how much she would even wants us to talk about that because you have certain devils on here who think they're so precious. Oh, you use my content. Oh, I'm going to report you. You use my content. Stupid people who are shooting their own self in their own feet. Because how are they going to have a damn show if you can't nobody use your content? Whatever, child. Hi, people. Mm -hmm. Allie the Sag. How you doing? Jessica Carter. Okay, hello. That's uh, what we've been saying. Billie Jean can make a way better than the show. Right. Billie Jean can make a way. And they have, are now, as it is apparent, RJ Supreme. That they have contacted Billie Jean because they want to use those clips, which tells us that many of the people who think they're no longer part of the show are indeed in part of the still part of the show. Because we don't think, or many of us don't believe, that Ty is going to take her investors' money and just create 
all of these various shows in various cities and then just throw it in the garbage can as as sean bradley suggests that she's done right the only thing that's important is, is, is orlando i never believed that and so it, there's, a, there's a good chance that she's using every bit of the footage that she has she's chopping it up the way she wants to chop it up she sent us a contract supposed to be a nda they get on me when I get letters wrong. NDA, but in the NDA, it said that whatever we record belongs to us. Now that did, that would not mean things that we have recorded on our own, but these things could easily be used. I mean, there have been some priceless beefs here, right? And if you can follow them, you could very easily see how you can make a story. And she was doing that. Right. So that was my instant uh, uh, reaction to that. So we see now that they are in collaboration. Or at least they're purchasing video from her. I don't know how she going to how they, she going to purchase video from her, though, about us when they have to report or get the video. If it's our images and our likenesses and our content. Wouldn't they need something from the people who actually create it or appear in the content? But uh, she has these clips. He he wants to use the clip. We, we ain't hating on Bella Jean. I think she's a brilliant young woman. I, I really respected the work she was doing. She probably would have been even better at it if they had allowed her to go ahead and do her thing. So I don't know if the person, uh, Stop Lying TV, is her or not, or if she's associated with that, whatever. But um, yeah, we ain't hating on her. And if she can make a deal with where she's using the clips. But at some point, if they're going to use that, though, to make a television show, I'm sure they need something like a, a an artist release. Something like that. I forget what the name of the form is. Mm -hmm. Do I hear civil tongue devil? <laughs> yes, I hear you. <laughs> I hear civil tongue devil tonight. I ain't reading nobody, child. Uh, 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 Bradley and I had a, had a powwow last week, but, uh, I told him then if, if you're appearing the story, if there is a story, I'm still going to talk about it. No matter if, if we're friendly or not, it's not an attack or anything. It's an observation. And it does feel good to know that you're right. I mean, it just feels good. Okay. I'm not an idiot. I did see this thing and I'm correct. Right. So, so far, I've, we, I haven't heard anybody ver verbalize that these these uh, these trips were actually reunions, but that's clearly what they are. And if you were watching all these people beefing on YouTube, which is what we've drawn us all here, that is the reason why we're here, because we find it interesting. If they can compile it and condense it and make it something that, that is suitable so people could, so could see it and understand it then yes, at the end of that, people would be very curious to see what happens when you bring all these people together now, right? Similar to what happens when they do reality TV on, on um, regular television, right? They have reunions. Every damn one of them has, has a reunion show at the end of the year. So we'll see. We keep following. He said last week that the show was not done. I didn't get the impression that he was real clear on the next moves or anything like that. But uh, if we're going to go, if we're going to follow that 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 logic, then it, then the show begins to make at least some sense of what they're actually doing. Mm -hmm. Okay, she started hiding with that moniker, <laughs> moniker after Jason. Oh Lord, you just said the name. Okay, I don't think it's her. I have an idea. It's a dude. Okay. Okay. Let's, see. Let's go back a little bit and follow this conversation. Okay. So RJ Supreme believes that uh, Stop Lying TV is actually Billie Jean. Uh, Billie Jean or someone associated with Billie Jean. Maybe she's partnered with someone else. I don't know what happened to her channel. I thought it was great. It only went on a, a, a few episodes and then it was taken down. And I think these people like five, eight, when they're complaining about somebody using their, their material, they didn't, I mean, they didn't cut your own goddamn hands off because well, that's what the show going to be essentially. 
So if you take out whatever the best parts of the damn thing are, because, oh, he used my, he used my material. <laughs> what material, girl? You sit in your kitchen hollering, screaming, girl, they don't damn material. <laughs> but she disappeared for some reason, right? Does anyone, I'll just say RJ Supreme, I've had that thought many a time. Because they're kind of doing the same kind of kind of thing. Although, uh, Stop Lying TV is simply reporting on today's activities. I don't think it, it, it is as uh, produced as Billie Jean's original videos were. Right. Hopefully they didn't run that girl completely off YouTube. I mean, we, we are all Americans, honey. We all have a right to be on YouTube. So... It's a damn shame you got to go hiding and shit, being clandestine just to just to be creative. I don't know. I don't think it's her. Uh, 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 uh damn it, says, uh, 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 damn it. What kind of name is that, child? What is your thumbnail? Uh, uh, damn it. You got some kind of creature on there, or is that a kitty cat? Oh, that's a kitty cat. Uh -huh. She said, I don't think it's her. Uh, I have an idea. It's a dude. Okay. We don't want to go over there bothering uh, uh, that new show, Stop Lying TV, because we don't want to bring the same kind of heat on her or him as we did on Billie Jean, because Billie Jean was becoming popular so quickly, and people got attitude about it. Demons, Demons I say. So... Stop lying. Don't think we're, 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 we're messing with you. Okay, she started she started hiding with her, with that Mononika after Jason got her fired. Got who fired? Am I following the wrong conversation? Okay. Yeah, that boy's just bad news. I don't even like to mention that, that, that dude's name over here. Okay, so the show, show, show will contain old YouTube video clips. Uh, how low budget. <laughs> Grace, it's low budget, but it is, the. Sh I mean, that's essentially, that is what the show is, right? How are you going to make a show about the about the beef sector if you're not going to include the beef sector? I mean, the beef sector is the star of the show. What they, when they bring people together out of town, they, they, they're not, nothing is scripted for one thing. And I, I, can, I can attest to that. They told us nothing before we went into the room. They, I, I thought they could have at least told us what Bob was expected of us. No, they didn't want that. They just want to just throw us in there, right? But that's not a show. You can't call that a show. If, if, if we just seeing people in a room yelling and screaming at each other, you wouldn't even know who those people were. So it's the unique experience. So you don't, you can't expect this thing to be produced the way uh, 20 other reality TV shows are produced. It is a new new thing, unique to the beef sector or unique to YouTube, right? Let's see. Okay, so. Thank you for your positive feedback on the reviews. Of a new book. Oh, hi, Hood Table. I'm waiting for uh, uh, scene two. I was listening to it again today. I want you have a pretty good grasp on the characters. Uh huh. So I'm waiting on 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 uh, your next chapter. Don't they need YouTubers' approval? Yeah, I suspect so, Grace. These videos belong to YouTube. Okay, so they belong to YouTube as opposed to belong to us. I would think they would need the approval of the content creators as well. I mean, it is our content. Now, people can use it on here. Nobody really gives a shit. But if you're going to put it on television and people are going to actually profit from it, then I think people, wherever their image is going to appear, are going to want to be compensated for it. Right? Now, they may feel like, time may feel like, I still haven't figured Ty out. I hope I'm not on here. I'm, I'm not trying to start shit for Ty. But she may feel like until these people are actually shown in the content, there's no reason to pay them. Right? But if we're going to use their image, 
or their uh, their their uh, the video that we did with them and their test. What do you call those? Not testimonials. What do you call those damn things? Where they talk to you uh, aside from the show. If they're going to use all that materials, what I'm saying, then then you would probably have to pay. You have to compensate the people involved. You can't just take and make money, and then they don't make any money, right? So we still don't know a whole lot, but him telling telling me that or telling us that they have actually approached Billie Jean for the clips that she has, the mini clips that she has, and she's just compiled them from what's on YouTube, but specifically uh, for the beefs that's what, that, that have went on here for people who are currently here and also people who are no longer here. She has all that. So they may have to compensate on both sides. But if you're talking about uh, television where you have commercials and all that kind of stuff, I don't think it's all that big a deal. You can throw up uh, a few dollars here and there. If they're willing to pay for all these hotels and flights and all that kind of shit, it'd just be another expense. Hi, Lisa Jackson. Squeenie. Hello, Squeenie. How you doing, boy? Okay. I told him. Hi, Nikki. Nikki Bailu. Mm -hmm. So my way off. I think we are on the same kind of, 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 of thinking pattern here, uh, RJ Supreme. Since they've left it up to us to just guess, we have to just guess and play with this thing until something actually happens. But uh, I think it's, a, it's, it's just a relatively educated guess just by sitting back and watching what's going on here. Motion pictures have been made in less time than the show, show, show. <laughs> even during a pandemic, even during World War III, honey, made, she said. <laughs> oh, you had the maid lady. Okay, the, the lady did it first. Then she said the maid. Right, right. So I, I think it, it took a detour when COVID came. But they recorded after COVID came. So according to Bradley, some of their best material Bradley and 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 uh, and Wally. Well, Wally's in all of it, though. I think. Well, I think Wally makes appearance in all of it. But uh, they seem to think that good good uh, content was made during the pandemic. But this, I'm I'm going to keep on saying the same thing. That is not a show. Uh, uh just being in a room hollering, screaming at each other. That ain't no damn show. We are the show, and the damn thing is about what goes on here. So I thought that way really from the very beginning. If Ty did give up on it, Sean Bradley will definitely try to get something together because he wants to be a star. <laughs> if she can't sell it, I mean, you, I mean, she can only do what she can do, right? And there are ton, tons of shows that are that are pitched and not picked up. People are making stuff all over the country, honey. If she cannot sell it to a network. Then I would say then recut it and just put it uh, like a web series on YouTube somewhere. Those things are relative. I mean, you know, they'll be very interesting to us. I mean, I don't know. We're just guessing at this point. I love to see Billy back. Yeah, I'd love to see it too. I like that thing that she was doing there. It made us all stars, honey. It was it, it exposed us all uh, in, in a different way, and eventually she would have gotten the numbers. She was taken down so quickly that she, ne she wasn't able to build her numbers. But she would have been uh, uh, that thing would have been successful if she would were allowed to move forward, right? And it would simply be constantly just mixing up what, what's going on with the people here on YouTube. So what's going on with uh, with the uh, Stop Lying TV is not nearly as, as interactive as she was doing. So, uh, but uh, it's distinctly different. It, it kind of reeks up covering one's own ass, soda. But what happened to her anyway? Billie Jean, she was a young girl. I remember that. I remember her being a, a pretty dark-skinned girl. I think she might have been a student. I'm not sure. She might even be a film student or something. Uh, 
the Wanda women, the Wanda women. I think YouTube owns the content and they pay you for it. YouTube owns the content. But we're still able to use, I'm still able to use my videos anywhere I want to use them, right? So, but YouTube owns it. All of you, are you saying that if a contract were signed with these people, perhaps they could go through YouTube because officially the content would belong to YouTube. And maybe they could even bypass the people, the content creators. I don't know. I mean, YouTube, they got plenty of money, honey. If they could throw us a few hundred dollars, I don't think it would break them. Right? It's going to come to, down to what is actually seen. Now, I'm sure no production company wants to be dealing with a whole bunch of lawsuits because you ain't paid me nothing. Right? Sean seems to think that making, um, paying for your, your, your flight and your hotel room is a form of payment. So you got your hair done for the show, but this is your show. That's not saying, that's not payment. You think a, a, a businessman, when he goes on, on the trip for the business, that, that that is his pay? No, honey, they still got to pay him. Right? It's your show. You can't profit for it from it. Uh, and say that because you flew me there, that, I, that was my conversation. That's not putting anything in my pocket. So we're just following, following along, honey. I do think you should get paid, though. Absolutely. If anything is, is shown, absolutely you should get paid. What was that reality show? I was just, somebody was just telling me that the people didn't get paid. I don't know. I guess apparently some of these people don't get paid unless the show get picked up. That's what Ty told me. I said, Ty, I did this on the way to the airport in Atlanta. Uh, so when are we going to talk about compensation? And she said to me, after the show gets picked up, right? When the show gets picked up, that means the network's going to pay out all this money for the show because they're going to run their own type of commercials, which pay them a whole lot more money than we get on YouTube. And then, so they'll be paid, and therefore the people involved will be paid. The ones who actually make it onto the actual uh, thing, uh, most of the stuff's going to get cut out. I mean, you you can kind of figure that. Not everything is going to make it onto the big screen, big screen, television screen. Mm -hmm. I want man get a little snippet, a little piece of change. But apparently some people are, are not getting paid. You'd be amazed at how many musicians are not getting paid, honey. Them damn record companies have been ripping them people off for years and years and years and years. They say, oh, you got a tour. The only way you get money is to tour. You tour. Wow, well, all the damn records. I sold two million records. Oh, that goes to the company to recoup our expense, girl. They ripped all the people. People didn't own shit. A lot of them didn't make any money. A lot of people who we consider celebrities, stars, or all this stuff in the music industry, they didn't make no money. These rappers and stuff, they make it a point to always show us all this money and all these diamonds and $200,000 pinky rings and all this kind of thing. And these Ferraris and all these uh, expensive cars and all this shit and these mansions and all that kind of stuff. But we don't know they make any money at all. And all that stuff that they make videos with, that's not to be believed. That's just for production. So even if when they do put them in a house, I mean, if the studio owns the house and they stop making records, they take their ass, pack their shit and get out. And they put the next star in there. You know what I'm saying? So we can't assume that they, they're they all making money. A lot of them are just, you know, they're, they're cutting a record. Their first record, they might not make no money. I remember when I was in uh, in Hollywood, 77 I arrived there there was this group called switch right y'all know the, the barge family well before the barge family there was switch right and they had a big old billboard on sunset boulevard and their album was successful and all that but i happened to know the guy bobby the barge or i knew of him i had the same friends as he had right so i didn't know him personally but I was around him and we were going to the same places and I just happened to know some of the people that he knew, right? Anyway, 
he was living in a goddamn uh extended stay hotel for the whole time that 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 their album was popular. Big billboard on Sunset Boulevard touring all over the country. He ain't had no money. If he had any money, he wouldn't be living in an extended stay hotel. Right? Now I'm not saying that's where he was at when he was in town. That's where he lived. So a lot of times they have to become popular before they get paid. You have to network on YouTube to make money. Mm -hmm. YouTube does pay you. Have to follow the rules. Content creators need to learn how to set up AdSense, etc. Sponsorship. Use YouTube to sell your products and more. Yeah, some people are the cult reloaded are just more ambitious than other people. Like I've never, even if when I've gotten e emails from people who say they have sponsorships and all that, I've never been very interested. So it's a delete to me. I just I'm not that invested because then you, you you're expected to to constantly produce, right? And they want to control what you're producing. I can't come on here and talk half the shit I talk and have a sponsorship. You see how they jump on these guys who do have these big deals, right? And uh, they tell them what they can say, what they can't say. And then everything they do is a scandal. So they, they have potential being fired. But uh, so it depends on how ambitious you are. Right? You can have sponsorships. You can have deals worked out. You can uh, you can have merch. I ain't got no desire to, to make no T-shirts with my face on them, <laughs> girl. <laughs> Assuming somebody want to buy something like that. But some people do, you know. And uh, a lot of it is youthful energy, too. I'm just not that, that invested. Okay, Grace. Right. He's worse than record execs from the 70s who paid big music stars with a Cadillac. And that's it. Right. Where's the cash? I'll buy my own goddamn Cadillac. Right. <laughs> that's the legend from Cadillac Records. I think Motown did some of that too. They didn't get any of the profits from their record sales, right? They give them a shiny car. A lot of these people are poor people. What was the story? Uh, Y'all hear a terrible, tragic story of the uh, new edition? Here, their families were still living in the projects. They're getting paychecks for for less than a hundred dollars, and they're traveling around over. Who, who works for free? You know, so. Yeah, these record people are really having a hard time now because it's, you stream so much stuff for free. Who's paying for records? Who's who's paying for 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 pornography? I mean, goddamn, all you take is click, click, and you got it all. It's all free. So why are these people making all this stuff? Why are these people making records? And they're making adult content. And they're doing all this stuff, and then if you look on YouTube, look how many movies are free now. I mean, if you are a person who doesn't have a lot of resources, you can still watch a whole lot of television and stuff uh, for free. You can get a whole lot of stuff for free. YouTube's for free, right? So, you know, everybody's got to figure out a way to make some money. Compensation should be negotiated before the performance. Well, what's the, I mean, you don't have any leverage. When you're nobody, if you're just making YouTube videos, how are you going to negotiate uh, pay? You would need, first of all, you would need to know what you're supposed to be paid. What would be right? You certainly not going to go out there and pay attorneys, right? They're going to get a couple thousand dollars. You got that to invest in this stuff. So if you are, if you have some celebrity, if you're bringing something to the table, then you negotiate your your pay. But on on your first project, I'll say it's very very difficult. Unless you're a huge YouTuber. Now, I'm sure that if Miss Tasha K or somebody like that are pretty T or somebody, they want to, they would got involved with something, then they would they would certainly uh, negotiate their pay before they got involved in it, in their contracts even. Uh, T.S. Madison. Now, T.S. Madison has done enough work now where she would absolutely negotiate a price. She would be paid for everything she does, right? But I'm sure it wasn't like that for her in the beginning. And pretty much any musician would tell you about the times they spent on the road without getting hardly any money at all. 
in the beginning, right? You got to work your way up to where you're in demand when somebody's going to pay and they know they're going to get paid from you. But let them go ahead. Some people figure, well, let me go ahead and make me somebody first. I just want my name in lights. I just want to hear my 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 music on the radio, right? I was watching some show le uh, last night about it was produced by Tom Hanks. I think it was made way back in the eighties about some little one one hit wonder group. And uh, after they made their one hit record, then the, the lead singer he wanted to be playing his own music and all this, and he had demands, and they sent him walking. So they were a one hit wonder, right? They just got what they can get out of them. They went back home. They ain't might had no money. Depends on your own ambition. YouTube, you can do your own thing, though. If you if you can find ways, if you want to sit there at your algorithms and you want to find out what sells, what people want to hear, and things like that, and maximize your income on here. And be willing to post a whole lot of commercials because commercials is where you get your money on here, right? You want to negotiate, uh, you want to sell uh, bath oil beads on your your channel and stuff like that. Depends on your own on your own ambition and how much you're in demand. If you only have thirty five subscribers, ain't nobody gonna pay you nothing for nothing. Nothing from a nothing, please nothing. You gotta have something. If you're going to be with me, oh, baby. But if you work your channel up to where now you have an audience, right? To where you have an audience, then yes, uh, you can demand more money. More people, more things will be offered to you because you're reaching other, you're reaching people, right? That's how the networks, television, that's how they get paid. If they have 10 million people watching uh, The Tonight Show, as one pay rate, if they have a hundred million watching tonight's show, then it's a whole different ball game, right? They pay you according to how many people watch you. You can get an affiliate link with Audible. I got to tell you that Audible something. I, I got to look more into that. So so far, I only got one book on Audible, right? But. I never expected to make any money with the meth monster. But when I signed, I made that audible. I mean, someone contacted me for, uh, to make an audio book. I mean, they were paying me good for, I don't know, four, five, six months. <clears throat> because of the audio books sell for a lot more money. They have whatever their promotions are on there. It's kind of thing. But, uh, if I can get my other books on audible, and I could actually make money from that thing. We'll see. So far, we seem like we're people have been buying the uh, murder in the beef sector. Mm -hmm. That's going real well. A lot, a lot of times when they when you go to publish a book, they want to know your 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 uh, social media audience, what your reach is. That's what the primary thing. They want to know how many people do you have? How many flowers do you have? How many followers do you have on Facebook? How many followers do you have on on uh, on Twitter? How many followers do you have on YouTube? Right? They want to know what your audience is. How big is your audience? Right? That makes you it, it worth more worth their time. That's why if you are a celebrity, if you are a celebrity and you write a book. They said, well, God damn, I got 100,000 people watching me, right? So uh, it's an almost automatic uh, bestseller. Bill Clinton writes a book, Barack Obama, all these politician type, type people. I mean, they come in with, with millions, and, millions and millions of people as their audience. That's why they're able to, to demand all these, uh, you know, upfront money. So. I'm not a hustler. It seems like, how good are you at hustling? Right. I just played the lottery. <laughs> I won my money back quick, quick, fast. You're not a hustler. Yeah, I'm not much of a hustler either, Nail Tur uh, Turner. Not anymore. When I was in them damn streets, I had to hustle. You had to hustle. 
You know, you didn't know what moment is going to all come crashing down. But I'm I'm an older person now. I'm kind of settled in, so I don't think I have the the kind of ambition. I think if I were doing this thing younger, then I'd be more interested in how far I could push it. You know what I'm saying? They will sign up for what firecracker? What the hell are they gonna sign up for? Uh huh. <laughs> Oh, they were signed up for a Timothy Blade a membership shit. So they come over and get some more information. I don't know why. It's all free. Oh, you just click on, honey. Yeah, I never did any of that membership stuff. I never did no Patreon. I'm just not that ambitious about YouTube, you know. I don't even like to have a, like, sometimes you see people have a certain show. Like Larry Reed Live used to always be on Monday night at a certain time. I don't even want that much restriction. I just sit down. If I feel like talking, just talk. If I don't want to talk today, I ain't got to talk today, you know. So depends on what your goals are, your ambitions are. But we can say that now when we're down. We only have a few people, you know. The more the numbers grow, then you might want to say. And, and money is very addictive, too. If, if they start giving you, you know, five or $6,000 from YouTube, believe me, you will have your ass on YouTube. You'll be showing, showing up, honey, and showing out. It probably get nastier and nastier and nastier. Because, why? Because you're getting paid for it. Is that Wally? Hi, Wally. How you doing, Wally? So are you in on the secret about the uh, the video clips being used, Wally? Oh, don't ask me that. You're going to put me on the line. <laughs> Hi, Jay Dunn. Uh -huh. Your core audience knows you. Right. Uh, you enjoying the book? Oh, thank you. Allison Jackson. Hi, Uncle Tim and chat. I am enjoying the book. I'm almost finished. Oh, it's building up on you. I've been reading it, reading for a couple of hours. Uh, I've got to find out the killer right <laughs> the suspense is great y'all hear her y'all hear allison is it allison is that guy a girl probably a girl is it i don't know al alison yeah thank you for picking up the book appreciate you i think wally's gonna do okay on on youtube or in social media period he's ambitious he has pulled away from because beef sector is only going to give you such a so much of an audience because there's only so many people here. You can only grow so big. But if this is what you like doing, it's what you like doing, right? He seems to want to want more out of social media, and he probably will. I'm sure he'll get the numbers that Armand Wiggins, some of those people get. And Wally, no matter what y'all say about, I know he's going to be reading me probably tonight or tomorrow. <laughs> he does know how to do an interview. Right. When I was talking to him last week, it almost seemed like he had prepared for the interview, but he had not because I just jumped online. And yet his questions were on point, you know. So he has that ability. So I think while they do good on here, if he stays committed to it, he seems to like it a lot. Only videos I know is the Wiley show. All right. That's a, that's a rap, Wiley. Only videos I know is the Wiley show. <laughs> Don't you know? Won't you go for the Wiley show? <laughs> Maybe you need to get Kelly Love to make you a little jingle for your beginning of your show, Wiley. Right. Wiley has definitely. Past me in numbers. When I came in contact with him the first time, I think we had a little, we ain't had no beef, but a couple of videos. And uh, I think he was stuck at like 10,000 then. And then he started doing celebrity, celebrity gossip, celebrity news. And he has passed me up. I, I was at 20 then. I'm still at 20. Uh, so I'm stuck at 20 subscribers I'm talking about. And he's moved on where he's passed uh, 20,000 now. So whatever, wherever he was stuck has, has been uh, 
disseminated. So, so I think it do well, you know. Well, are you as big as this? <laughs> got his name from Wiley. The beef sector got his name from Wiley. <laughs> well, he certainly enjoyed it over here for a, for a while, you know. Some people will come on here for a while and they'll do this for a while and then move on and do other things. But you got to like what you're doing, honey. If you don't like what, like me going over there talking about uh, Nicki Minaj and Tox K and all people, it would have no interest to me at all. I'm telling you the truth. So you, I, I couldn't do it, right? I've even lost interest in doing a reality. I mean, uh, reviewing shows. You gotta like what you're doing. No spoilers, please. <laughs> okay, no spoilers about what's going on. Mm -hmm. It's the Wiley show. I think Wally's uh, audience is faithful to him as well. So. So, Jay Dunn, we back on, on decent terms, I hope. I hope. I'm not out here trying to make enemies with people, but, you know, if, if, I, if I think it's a story, I'm going to talk about it, people. That's just the way it is. I'm a star. Says Nicole Reloaded. All right. They're going to find out Nicole Reloaded. <laughs> in Atlanta and in Lorenzo, I don't need to see a video to tell me how he looks in person. <laughs> okay. He has been networking with other entertainment bloggers. Right. So since he can so easily interview people and he's not he's not bashful about contacting people for interviews eventually you're going to have built an audience right if you have come on and you have given a, a rapper a young rapper a uh a decent interview you give giving him a platform to talk about what's going on with him later on he will remember you because you're someone who treated them well or helped them right so you help each other kind of thing. Just don't step on people unnecessarily. Because them same ones you stepped on to crawl your ass to the top. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, Jada. Troll alert. Who is the troll? Let's kill us a troll. Where they at? <laughs> uh, uh, so what are you interested in, Mr. Tim? So what are you interested in then, Mr. Tim? This, I like it fine. I like doing my little commentary. I like to write. I got to think about what I'm going to write next. I'll give it, I'll get, wait a little while and see uh, what the response is on murder in the beef sector. But it could be a standalone book and I'll move on to something else. But I do like writing. I'm a retired person, people. I mean, that, that's it. So I do things to keep me interested. I, I had, uh, before COVID, I had several volunteer gigs. I'd like my church. I do my thing there. And uh, I like doing YouTube like this, you know. I, I don't know that I'm, uh, I don't know that I'm particularly gifted to be a commentator, a professional commentator, or a journalist or anything like that. I don't see that for myself, but I want to enjoy social media like everybody else does, right? We're all on here. We're all doing this thing. It is the sign of the times, baby. I like to walk my dog. That's what I like. I did get a clean bill of health from my doctors. That's good. So just staying healthy. Just staying healthy. If I if I did become popular at something, I would I would most like I would rather be known for my writing more than anything else, right? I would like for my books to be popular, and for writers, you know, it's only so much. All these movies and stuff we enjoy, the writer many times is is the <laughs> the lowest on the totem pole. 
Now, the I'm talking about screenwriting now. The writer is the one who's created this whole damn thing, made up all these people, right? <laughs> create the whole story. And then when they bring in the directors and the actors and all the, I don't know, all these people, the writer just, he's like that, not even that important anymore because they don't have to bring in their own writers and like that. So, Timothy Blaine, what's next? Nothing. I'm going to go out there and find me a husband. That's next. Think I'll be successful. <laughs> Child, I hear these young people talking about how they can't find a husband. I said, well, girl, if you can't find one, shit, the way you look, I got to accept them days is over with, baby. Mm -hmm. School days, how I wish for school days. How we used to run and play. That's an old Al Green song. You know, we all had a chance to be young. I chose to party in my, in my, in my younger days kind of thing. So I had my fun, you know. God has been merciful and I am still here to live into my retirement. So I consider that a blessing, right? Okay. Can I just say that I am not impersonating Olivia the Oracle? Oh, that's your name? Okay, okay. Our names aren't the same. My avatar is not her. She accused me of being a troll page of her. <laughs> so your name is Olivia? Is that what it is? That's uh, that's Eddie Murphy in your <laughs> Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. Okay, Olivia Oro yells. Oh, okay. So Olivia, and then your last name starts, next name starts with an O. I can see what she might think some people might get that confused. It's Olivia Oro, not Oro Cole. You got to understand that is kind of close, uh, Olivia. Mm-hmm. I see. Chat, y'all be respectful. Mr. Tim, can you be a ghostwriter? I doubt it. No. There are some people who are good at that kind of stuff. Not me. I want to just tell my own stories. It depends. It depends on how interested you are in the story. But a ghostwriter does the work, and all he gets out of it is money. Many times, though, the ghostwriter will make more money than the, the actual writer, right? Or the person whose story. Like, if you have an interesting story and you hire a ghostwriter to write it for you, you may end up paying that ghostwriter more than you actually get from, from the story, right? But the ghostwriter doesn't get any credit for it. He's, he's the ghostwriter because he gets no credit. You get all the credit. So you're exchanging the credit for the writing. So that's a partnership, whatever, right? But not everybody who has an interesting story is a writer. Not all, every celebrity, their story might be fascinating, but that doesn't make them a writer. So a lot of times you're both, they'll share the credit. It'll be by such and such and such and such because it is their story, but it's been written by someone else. I don't know that I'll be that interested in that, no. I just like the creative process of making, up, making, making the stuff up. Right. And now what I've learned is also you can't wait too long. That's why I, I was blocked for three years because I got involved with YouTube and I, I started putting it on the back burner and back burner and I just lost my mojo. So in my uh, in this novel. That person appears to have a lot of characteristics of me, the actual author. Right. So I'm not going to wait too long. You but you can get inspiration from anywhere, anywhere, anything. Hey. You might have an old memory, child. I've been wanting to write this story about, it's called Fall Creek. Because when I was a, a kid, I used to, uh, I lived by Fall Creek. We live in the projects and across the, uh, there was a creek, Fall Creek. And across the, uh, the water, there was a, a uh, single wide trailer park. Those kids. And then uh, in front of that, there was, um, 
the retirees, they didn't have much, not much drama happened over there. Retiree uh, double wide trailers. Then there was two, uh, there were two uh, graveyards, Catter Corner, and the state mental institution was there up, up at the other end, right? So in the octagon, there was everything except for houses in this area, right? So I've had stories percolating about that experience for years, you know. I just didn't ha never sat down and, and put them on paper, but all kinds of dramas that, that could be born there. I mean, fiction is like, you know, you start off with a, with an idea, but the, the fiction is not going to resemble very much the, the actual events at all. But I just always thought, what if I was playing in the creek? Because we used to live in that creek, the project kids, and the trailer kids, right? We didn't mingle much, but we both lived in that creek, right? We used to make our we used to make our swimming rafts out of plastic, uh, plastic swimming pools. You know, little kiddie pools. People would throw those out, and we would take those and make a raft out of that and that kind of stuff. So we played in that creek a lot. I was thinking, what if I heard a splash and it, and someone had thrown a body in there? And what if I actually knew the people, knew one of the people, right? Let's say a father and son. I saw them throw a body into the creek because I was hanging out at the creek late at night or some shit, right? And then the story progresses and then the kid becomes like a, like a local uh, senator or something like that, right? But I had this information. I had seen him and his father. They're all kinds of, I mean, I haven't really written it out kind of thing, but um, because weird shit would happen in that creek all the time. It was a creek and then there was woods attached to the creek. So like one time I could see him through there and there was this, what they call now a thought girl. <laughs> I ran into these people in here. I, I had skipped school and there was this girl who we all suspected was promiscuous, but I ran into them and they were having sex. We were only about 11, 11, 12. She was having sex with all three of these guys in the woods, right? So <laughs> you would encounter all kinds of shit in that, in that creek. Anyway, I just never sat down and thought about it though. But after you get past your first chapter, you usually have a, your own story going there by then when you're writing fiction. <laughs> Firecracker. I watch this channel for your authentic personality. I love when you go from calm to cursing. <laughs> it's great entertainment. <laughs> I'm glad you're entertained. Excuse me. They all of them, they always say, oh, he gonna spaz out. <laughs> he about to die, girl. <laughs> I ain't gonna die, child. Uh-uh. Storytelling is amazing, yeah. And it just feels good to finish something. When you're writing, I mean, you, you talk to 100 people, you might find, you know, 40 of those people have started novels, right? And there are various stages of it. You know, you might have started when you were in college and you still haven't finished your novel. So it just feels good to, to actually have the time to sit down and get things actually accomplished, done. Here's something I finally started. I never finished anything my whole life, you know. If I got in trouble on a job, I never got fired. I never got fired. The moment I smelled smoke, I leave. I always leave. I don't know these people, nothing. So I never finished anything, right? So when I started writing, I actually liked the idea of finishing something, holding it in my hand. This is done. Okay. So now remember there. Uh, hood table. I'm waiting for your 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 next chapter. <laughs> Thanks for coming in, guys. I love you guys. Take care of yourself. Stay safe. Later. <laughs>